It's, uh, it's very nice to be back in Logan, Utah. Um, my name, uh, uh, my family has long ties to Utah State University. Um, in fact, also to Cache Valley itself. Because of some attention I've gotten recently, I was uh, encouraged to um, check into my ancestry. And um, because, uh, in, in, in particular, my Scandinavian connections. And I was able to document that 15 out of 16 of my great-great-grandparents lived in Cache Valley. <laughs> so, um, my, my mother and father were both born in Smithfield, Utah. And um, there's this interesting story about them that, I, I, of course, I can't verify this, that uh, my mom's a few months older than my, than my father. And um, uh, my mom's father, my, my, my grandfather, my mother's father, was the kind of local doctor, the country doctor in, 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 um, in Smithville, Utah. And they do house calls in those days. And the claim is that shortly after my father was born, my, my mother's father pays a house call to see how my other grandmother's doing. And, brings my mother along to the house call, and that would have been the first time my two parents met when my father. <laughs> um, my mother was uh, graduated from Utah State University. She is now, she's about to turn 94. She'll turn 94 next week. And she graduated in 1941, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so she uh, was a true alum of, the, uh, of, uh, of Utah State. My father attended here for three years uh, before um, going to the University of Wisconsin and um, so, uh, so stayed on there to get his PhD degree in, 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 uh, in biochemistry. So I actually grew up myself in the Midwest and uh, uh, as, as my father spent time at several universities. And at age 16, my uh, parents uh, moved, moved me back as a somewhat grumpy 16-year-old to from uh, East Lansing, Michigan to uh, Logan, Utah, and it, was, it turned out to be a very important move for me. Um, my father served at, at this university for as a first academic vice president and then as a provost for about 20 years. I don't know the exact number, but it's a, about that range, and he was absolutely, completely committed to this place. He was just, he, he was just, it, this was, he was very proud of what he could do for the place and, it was, and, he, had, and, he, had, and he showed incredible passion for it and just incredible loyalty for it. Um, I, however, was a somewhat grumpy 16-year-old when I got to Logan, Utah. Um, I uh, was lucky today this, uh, this morning, Utah State University arranged that I could go talk to a class of uh, fifth graders, and there were about 50 of them. And the, the, the teachers got a little bit nervous when one of the uh, uh, students asked me about why I brought, wrote, got double check marks for does not respect authority in, in school, which is indeed true. I did get double check marks for does not respect authority. <laughs> I did my best to give an honest answer that wasn't totally devastating, and hopefully I haven't ruined the whole cohort of fifth graders at this point in time. But um, I I was not a very good high school student, in truth. I was very erratic. There was nothing very special in my record. Um, the grades were erratic, uh, and um, so, so uh, I, um, uh, ended up in, I, I ended up in, I'm enrolling Utah State University, and it was a very important time for me because I had to figure out how, it was, how I was going to turn things around. And I, and, and, and I think back, up, back about the examples that I had kind of going into this. Uh, my father and his cohort, um, I, I was very, we were very good friends with Glenn Taggart and, uh, and, and his wife Phyllis Taggart, um, who the center's named after, uh, and, and kind of many others in that cohort were, um, were kind of people who got educated at Utah State University and then went on to distinguish careers elsewhere, uh, kind of representing Utah State and the scientific community very, very well. And shortly after I arrived at the University of Chicago, um, there was an eminent development economist there uh, whose name was uh, Theodore Schultz. And he stops me and he tells me, you're from Utah State University. And I said, yes. And he says, do you know that there, 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 there's a study done back in the 1970s about calculating you know, the American men and women in science that came from public universities. And uh, Utah State is very, very near the top of that list. And, and it's just true. There's this whole cohort of people that I was you know, lucky enough to know uh, because I was, you know, they, they, they were friends of my parents and everything that I got, kind of got to witness in academic careers. And this was a kind of you know, very nice example for me. But Utah State University gave me the opportunity to go from a 
not very um, ambitious or distinguished high school student to um, a somewhat better college, somewhat better college student, and uh, perhaps some uh, uh, and some other achievements down the road, and um, <laughs> and there, you know, there, I, and I think back on why this is the case. There, I, there, you know, certainly the classes I took were that there's some very very important ones, but the one-on-one -on -one conversations I had with key faculty members were were very very important to me. Uh, there's one that I, I will long remember, and, I, and I've shared this with uh, Doug Alder on multiple occasions, who, who doesn't take me very seriously, but he was, um, he was my teacher in honors um, European history, and uh, at this point in time, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for the next step, and he and I have this conversation, and he gives me advice about, well, figure out, you know, you have special talents. Um, don't do what other people do. Go use your special talents in, a, in kind of unique ways. And at this point in my career, I really had no idea I even had special talents. And so this was like, it really gave me food for thought. And it was really helped me, get, you know, help me guide, you know, go forward in my professional career. And um, so, you, so I, so I kind of owe a lot for Utah State on this, for this kind of transition period between a not very <clears throat> ambitious high school student to getting a, tr a, a preparation to go to a really top graduate program and, and be able to um, uh, push my career from there. And I, I, my, um, my PhD degree was from the University of Minnesota. And um, I, when I arrived there, there was, you know, there was a whole set of classmates. I, I, I remember one of my classmates that you know, uh, you know, became my uh, very good friend over the years, and I, I still keep in touch with him. He was actually kind enough to come back to Chicago to, in, for a celebration of um, my recent award. And um, he told me that when he saw the admissions, uh, that they entering PhD class in economics, uh, he's coming from Caltech, and there's this person from Utah State that he, he claimed that he broke out laughing to himself. And, I couldn't, and by the end of the first quarter, he was no longer laughing at Utah State University. Uh, I, I did my best to, uh, to try to keep up with Caltech. <laughs> so this has been, a, this has been, truly been, uh, this, this university was a, a, a platform to my uh, professional career. I certainly owe a lot to my parents and the role models that they served and everything. They were really committed to this place and, and, uh, and, and, and I'm very happy to honor it and I'm very happy to be part of it. Um, I can say in the last uh, few years, there's two phone calls that I've got that have been quite memorable. One was from Stan Albrecht telling me that I got an honorary PhD degree for here, and I, that was truly a very, very special phone call. And the other one came from Stockholm. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to invite uh, Logan City Mayor Craig Peterson to come and join us, if you would, please. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> Laura says the recipient of the 2013 Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences, Utah State University, and Logan City are proud to honor you by naming the section of 800 East, beginning at this building, and extending to 1400 North, bordering the campus, Horse Hansen Drive. Yeah.